Hey y'all, welcome back. Today, we're gonna do something we love doing around here. I just don't do many videos of it and that needs to change. So today I'm doing wings, chicken wings on the Blackstone. We're doing two different ways. Now, as you can see, we're not using a lot of ingredients to make these chicken wings. It's not gonna take a whole lot to make some delicious wings on the Blackstone. Wings on the Blackstone is probably one of our favorite things to do here. And the kids love them, we love them, and there's just so many different ways to do wings. So I went ahead and fired up the griddle, got it going, got it preheating, getting it ready for these wings. So now while that griddle is heating up, let's go ahead and glove up and get this chicken ready for the griddle. Now, we are ready to season this chicken. I'm gonna use some essential blend by Blackstone. It's basically a salt, pepper, garlic kind of a blend. It's really, really good on a lot of stuff. I figured it'd be great as a base flavor for these chicken wings. So let's go ahead and get them coated in all of this. And if you wanna go ahead and put some oil on here as a binder, you can. We don't. Just let the moisture of the chicken kinda of make its own binder. But don't be, uh, don't be stingy with the seasoning. Whatever you do, don't be stingy with it. Now, as you see, I broke out the, uh, the really fine, my fine pots and pans here, my aluminum foil pan here. Ain't gotta be fancy, just gotta make it work. Looks pretty good. So, let's go check on that griddle and see if it's ready for these chicken wings now. Now, I know we're gonna sauce these wings up here in just a little bit, but I really do believe once these things are fried up, you got this essential blend all over these wings, they'll probably taste pretty good by themselves. Well, there's that white smoke. That means this griddle is ready for some groceries. I'm gonna throw down a little bit of butter first. Let's see, I'm gonna throw it over here. A couple pats of butter will do right there. And I always put a little bit of oil with your butter. A little bit of oil in there, a little olive oil. Just kind of spread it around here, get it going. Now, we gotta add the chicken wings, but now the drums are gonna take longer, so we'll go ahead and get them on first. So I do separate my drums and my flats simply because, like I said, the drums will take longer. Well, I think all the drums are on now. So let's add just a little bit more oil around them. All right, them drums got a few minutes head start. Let's go ahead and get them flat started now. So now some more butter over here. And some more oil. So Earl, let's get these flats on now. Last one, there we go. Ah, right, they're all cooking now. And you may be wondering about me adding the oil to the, with the butter. That is olive oil I use. The adding the olive oil to the butter increases the smoke point of the butter so the butter won't burn as easily. It's just a simple little thing to do so you can kind of get that butter flavor without burning the butter. I can't take it. I just got to flip one of these and just kind of get a look at it. Oh, look at that golden brown they're turning. Let's go ahead and rotate these just a little bit. Yeah, they're looking good. Come on. Can't get a hold of that one, y'all. There we go. Yeah, getting a little golden brown. Now we're gonna keep on rotating so we're, they'll get done on all sides. I just don't wanna burn any one side. Oh, they're looking good though. Yeah, I like these. And the flats over here, I see we just kinda got them on, but as you see, they're already starting to kinda crisp up. So let's go ahead and give these a flip too. We'll rotate them again. Just kinda crisp the skin up a little bit. Just don't want to burn them, that's all. Okay, so now that we've kind of rotated them all, kind of flipped them, if you notice some were more brown than others, that's normal. That's just the hotter part of the griddle compared to the cooler part of the griddle where they might have been sitting. So if you need to, and if you have to, and if you want to, just move them around a little bit, so they kind of cook evenly. Your center right here is always going to be your hotter part of the griddle. And always remember that. So if you want to kind of control what things are doing, kind of slow things down a little bit, you can move the back part, move the side part. You can move them wherever you need to move them. You see something cooking quicker than the other place, just move it around. So from here on out, you just kind of keep on flipping them around. 
You want that golden brown color like you're getting right there? Tell them what you're looking for. That means our skin is getting good and crispy. That's what you're wanting. And if you need to, add a little more oil. Try to help fry them up a little bit. Super simple to make these. Another trick you can do, and I learned this from my good buddy Schmidt, Cooking with the Schmidt. Y'all check him out. He's got an amazing YouTube channel. You really want to kind of add a, a breading kind of a texture to these chicken wings, add some cornstarch. You can do it like right now. I mean, even you ain't gonna do it right when they first start cooking. Wait till you cook a little bit, get a little crispy skin on them, add some cornstarch, and it gives it like that breaded kind of a uh, coating. So there is an option if you want to kind of crisp it up, make a breading kind of coating, use cornstarch. Courtesy of Cooking with the Schmidt. Y'all go check them out, link down below. Well, moved them around a little bit, kind of kept them cooking on all different sides, and now they're done. And just take a look at that. Man, them things look so juicy and crispy. Nice little char on them. Oh yeah, let's take them up and sauce them up. So now grab your bowl or bowls or pan or whatever you want to take them up in and let's get them off the griddle. So we got 14 drums. So we need seven in each one of these. And seven flats. Now that we got them all off the griddle, let's take them over here and get a little saucy. All right, the wings are off the griddle and they look amazing. They really do look good, but we gotta sauce them up. So I figured I'd try the Sweet Baby Ray's garlic parmesan on some of them. Just kind of mix them up here. Get them as saucy as you want them. That is completely up to you how saucy you want these things. I think that looks pretty good right there. What y'all think? I like the way those look. Oh, and that smell, that smells amazing. We change gloves, do this barbecue now. Ta-da, change gloves, quick, ain't I? Let's try this out. Now this is new. Uh, it's made by Tabasco. It is jalapeno mesquite barbecue sauce. Seen it in the grocery store, I figured that sounds interesting. I figured I'd give it a try on these wings, see how they turn out. So let's try to squirt some on here. Here we go. Get them on there. Let's get them all mixed up in here. Ooh, that smells really good. It's got a really good smell to it. Get them saucy. One little squirt more. There you go. Uh-oh, one fell out. Put it back in. There we go. Wings are done. All we got to do now is paint them up. All right, grab us two plates. Time to paint them up, make them look pretty, and try them out. I think all the garlic parmesan I'll put over here on this plate. Then what I'm going to do is kind of pour that sauce back over the top of them. That's going to settle there at the bottom. Man, we face need good. This smells amazing. It really does. All right, let's take this sauce now. A little bit of sauce that's in here. Can't waste that sauce, y'all. Just can't waste it. Oh yeah, them are smelling good. Let's take up these uh, jalapeno mesquite barbecue. Let's take those up. Mm -mm -mm. These are looking good too, y'all. Nice little barbecue glaze on these. Yeah, buddy. I can smell that mesquite on these. And I'm really interested to see how that jalapeno flavor is going to come through. And you know, these are gonna be messy. And we got to pour the sauce all over these also. Get it all in there, there we go. So now, I gotta clean things up just a little bit, kinda of straighten them up, take a few thumbnail picks, and we're gonna try them out. And now before we try them out, I just wanna give y'all a very close look at these wings. Man, they are looking so good. Dang, we got to try one of these. That's the smell even better, y'all. And before I dig in, I already know I'm going to need some paper towels. 
already know it because I'm going to get messy. I think I'm going to try this garlic parmesan wing first. Try a flat, which reminds me, let me know down in the comments, are you a flat or a drum? Which do you prefer? Right now, I'm going to just try this flat. Ooh. Mm-hmm. Doggone, that's good. Mm. Let's see. What can I say about that other than it's delicious? That essential blend really adds to it. You can taste it through that garlic parmesan, believe it or not. But it's not overpowering. It's just the right amount of seasoning, of flavor, or whatever you want. But that garlic parmesan by Sweet Baby Ray's, that's some good stuff. But now, we got to try this Tabasco Jalapeno and Mesquite Barbecue. And this is new. Uh, just come out, I don't know how long it's been out. I figured I'd give it a try. Let's try this in here. Mmm. Mm-hmm. Mm-mm-mm. Wow. Oh. The flavor's really st still coming through on that one. The essential blend can't quite taste it as much. The sauce is kind of covering that. But you can still, it's still in there. But the mesquite and the, the jalapeno is not hot at all. I can taste it, but it's not as spicy uh, taste, I guess, if you will. It's more of the taste of the jalapeno. And that mesquite really adds a good flavor to these. Y'all, these are just two different ways to make wings on a Blackstone. There's zillions of different kind of ways. And I'm sure you're going to see more off this channel than others. Like I said earlier, if you want more of a breading kind of a texture on it, Add cornstarch, uh, Cooking with the Schmidt has taught me that. Great cooking channel, I mentioned that before. Like I said, the link is down below in the description to that channel. Be sure to go to over and check him out. But for right now, I need to go inside and let the kids munch on these and see what they think. And But y'all let me know down below whether you like the flats or the drums and what kind of seasoning you like on your wings. And we'll see you next time.